In this video I'm gonna demonstrate how to import 3D models from 3D scanning software into Blender. Uh, so this is assuming you have received already created 3D models in external software, exported them to uh, OBJ files and now you want to import them in Blender to further work on them. So the way it works in uh, Blender is like you go to File, Import, OBJ. There are all kinds of import file formats, but this time we're working with OBJ, which is a very frequently used 3D file format. Uh, in this case, we can select multiple objects to import at the same time. OBJ files generally consist of two files, the actual OBJ file with the 3D data and the so-called MTL file which uh, contains information about the material settings and the references to textures that are used. Uh, we don't have to select those. Blender knows these uh, files belong to your 3D model and will recognize it automatically. Now we import them. have to wait a little bit and as you will see, you will see uh, actually nothing in this case. And the reason is that everything has become oh, super large. Why did it become super li large next to becoming very shiny? I mean, probably you're in this kind, uh, this rendering mode. Everything is gray and shiny. Um, turn this on. You will see the textures that come with the model. So uh, the first issue is being very big. Why is that? Because most 3D scanning software works with a different base unit than Blender. Blender works in meters. 3D scanning software works with millimeters, which is a thousandth of a meter. So these objects uh, are actually uh, 1000 times the size that they actually are. So. A very simple and quick way to resolve this is to select everything that you have in the scene, hit S to start scaling, and then enter 0 0.001. Uh, and now we can also look at the dimensions over here. And we will see that this now has accurate dimensions, 42 centimeters high or long in this case. Uh, by 13 centimeters in width. Uh, so the next issue is these models in this case with the uh, and that really depends on the software that you're exporting it with. So in this case we've used uh, Artag Leo to scan these fragments of this uh, Lakitos, this uh, Greek face, this burial face. Um, uh, and it exports these OBJ files with a very high level of uh, yeah, shininess. So how to resolve this? Well, in Blender, that's um, uh, setting in materials. So uh, you go over here and you select the object and then you go down. And then you will have all kinds of material settings and one of them is roughness. Uh, and that basically, r the rougher the surface, the less shiny it becomes. So we can set that to one. Uh, there's still some shine coming through because there is a duplicate object underneath it of a low resolution. We can delete this one. Um, another issue with it is uh, turned up the specularity to one. I mean, that's not really a problem now, but for accurate uh, rendering of, of surfaces, specularity should actually stay around a half. 0.5 so it's better to leave that setting at 0.5 that's the default setting and we shouldn't change it but the obj file or the other software exported it like this um, so we can now do the same with all the other objects uh, so uh, the roughness to one and the specularity to 0.5 you can also hover over this field to control c to copy the value go to the next object and then um, control v 
to copy the value so you do this for each individual object um, I will leave you to it by yourself alright so each fragment now has a uh, roughness value of 1 and a specular value of uh, 0 0.5